So, have you been? Last Good. time I saw you, it was in Paris in uh, April or May, I don't remember. Yeah, April yeah. or May, actually, I don't know, April. Okay. April. So, how's it been touring a lot lately? Yeah, uh, busy, it's been busy. Um, it's been good. A lot of really, really great shows and uh, great people everywhere. And we've got to see some parts of the world we never would have otherwise. So, yeah, yeah. Moscow, St. Petersburg, Kiev, Helsinki. Yeah, yeah. and we're racking up the miles. We are now all silver medallion members of the Delta Flying. So now we're getting some upgrades. Well, that's perfect. Maybe a free snack every once in a while at the beer. It's gonna be, you know, the perks. <laughs> um, so you've been touring Europe a lot this year. Uh, with Mastodon, with Black Tusk. Uh, so you might be like uh, almost uh, European citizens now. <laughs> yeah, do we get the free healthcare too? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> so, um, what are the best places, the best cities you've seen, um, the best spots, and the best crowds? Uh, I would say it's a toss up between um, every place in France and Moscow, and Athens, maybe. Athens, and Helsinki was pretty amazing. And the Netherlands are really good. Uh, most of the shows we've had in Belgium have been really good. Spain is really amazing. The UK is actually very good. What play we show we played in London on the last tour is really great. Uh, so I'd say it's sort of a toss-up between almost all of them. There's some, we've had some really good shows in Germany, and oh, in Italy. Don't. Don't forget Italy. You, you, you Does that narrow it down? <laughs> <laughs> I will mention Italy. Don't worry. Don't don't. Okay. okay. <laughs> so uh, so if you uh, if you had to compare uh, the Euro European crowd and the American crowd, what would you say? I would say the European crowds are more enthusiastic on average. At least uh, concerning our band, I think that um, people are. Um, Works. Maybe it's because we're not from here and the likelihood of seeing us again and so it's more of a more of an event where Americans I don't know, it's it's just it, they I mean I love American audiences, it's just they're not as um, enthusiastic in in, in, the, in general, not you know uh, once you once you do a tour over here then when you tour the US you'll play to a big crowd, but since they're not Vomiting on each other and jumping off the walls, you're like, gosh, I hope they're enjoying themselves. And I believe they are, but it's just they don't go as nuts, you know. Um, so, the last gig I saw you, as I told before, it was in Paris. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the crowd was really enthusiastic. <laughs> uh, it was really hot in the in the venue, and uh, a guy got undressed, totally undressed. Yeah, and a guy in the audience did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was, I was. Uh, I know. I remember. <laughs> so, uh, have you seen a crazy, crazier crowd since then than this one, or a crazier Moscow atmosphere? Was, Moscow was pretty darn crazy. Yeah. La Havre, that was, that was bordering on lunacy. I think the, they were. I don't know if this is a thing or what, but they were getting on the stage, laying down on the stage, and then other people would lay on top of them, and so you would have like three people just laying down on each other. <laughs> I'm like, is that, a, is that a new kind of punk rock thing, or are you guys just tired? <laughs> I don't know what's happening there, it's just weird. But, uh, but yeah, that was it, and then just stage diving like crazy, I, was, I feel like I was in the way. I was like, oh, you know, I should just get off the stage altogether and let them jump. <laughs> Alright, yeah, people from the North are really, yeah, enjoying it. Showing it to, yeah. yeah, and they drink a lot of beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was that kid who got naked at the show in Paris. So it was from uh, the album. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah. it's in the water. Yeah, it's in the beer. Yeah. In the album. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, about your touring with Black Tusk, what were you? What? What are your best memories from the tour with the guys? Uh, funniest moments? Sure. I think probably Suck It Nerd is probably my best memory <laughs> of those guys. <laughs> there was some graffiti backstage in Hamburg, I believe. Uh, somebody had just written on the cooler, Suck It Nerd, and then their drummer James started saying it for the rest of the tour. And the way he said it was just so perfect <laughs> and hilarious. Anytime anybody did something stupid, Suck It Nerd! <laughs> That's my best memory. I think the, the my biggest memory from that tour is when uh, it was like the last show, and Aaron, uh, 
you know, sweating a lot, and had been, and he has the thing where he wears a show shirt. He wears the same shirt every oh, night. Yeah. Yeah. Takes it off after the show, hangs it up in the trailer to dry, hopefully, and wears a, another normal shirt so he's not walking around in filth. But it's that same shirt for the entire tour. So <laughs> it gets imagine. washed sometimes. Yeah. Yes. Well, it accumulates some amount of. Uh, gross. Um, in any case, last show, he was ringing it out backstage and it was just a river of gray water. So, I don't know whose idea it was. It was their idea. They are apparently, the, um, it was Athon and James? Yeah, and me. Yeah, and they, they made uh, sh shots with vodka and the liquid that they had oh. on that shirt. Okay. And, gross. Um, Athon, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Athon thought it was fine. He said it. No, he didn't think. He said. He said it, 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 it tastes like, like summer. summer. He was fine with it. <laughs> well, there was some sort of there was some summer. sort of like sprite or something in it too. Yeah, there was a little mix mixer. Yeah. Uh, but uh, James immediately sort of dry heaving, and that's, uh, he kept it down. You know. But I was like, oh, dude, don't. don't you're not. Oh, you are. You yeah. are. <laughs> so gross. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you got close with these these guys, and um, now I'm gonna ask you a few questions about the next album. Okay. I don't want to know yeah. about the next album. So, uh, so almost good. done. It is so good. Oh, it's finished. <laughs> yeah. Really? You're kidding. You're, You're just kidding. You're waiting to put it out. <laughs> uh, so um, yeah, uh, do you are you considering uh, having uh, making some collaborations on this album with uh, another band, uh, other bands, or? Uh, like Black Dust, for, for example, or uh, some yeah, That's. Uh, I think that might be a little too far down the road right now, but it's something that might, you know, that could happen. Mm -hmm. It's nothing that we it's a could. cool idea. Yeah. It might happen now because you suggested it. I've always wanted to work with, actually, work with, what am I saying? I've always wanted to, um, Have fun. I've always been interested in trying to get uh, Mike from Yob to come up and like play a guitar solo or do some vocals on something. The, the first, um, well, second EP we did that song, Humans Remain, I don't know if you know that song, but I, when I came up with the, the chorus for that, I always envisioned Mike actually singing that, but then he was into it, but it just didn't work out schedule-wise, so now I have to do it. Oh well. But yeah, I don't know, maybe something like that. I've been, I was talking with, um, with uh, Valiant himself from Valiant 4 about uh, possibly collaborating on a Christmas scat album as uh, for gifts for people, but uh, still, that's just in the planning stages. But you never know. Not dead yet. Maybe next year. Okay. Maybe this year. I don't know. It's just I got to scat. I'm not. I got to learn how to scat. You got to yeah. a lot of practice. You got to do like, a lot of practice to <laughs> scat. I got to scat until my girlfriend leaves me. I think. <laughs> and you'll know you're ready. You're a good enough scatter. One day. Yeah. It'll take one day. Exactly. So, uh, do you have uh, any materials written yet? Or yeah. Yeah. We got chunks. We have little chunks. Bits, any pieces, hints? Bones. Uh, of oh, they're all hints. No, hints. Hints, hints. Oh. Most of them, and so far, involve guitars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, one of them goes, boy a boy a bong, a bong, a bong, a bong, a bong, a Hey, you're giving it away. Yeah. It, <laughs> actually, it, it does do that, but with guitars. Okay. Instead of <laughs> no, no, I'm just going to scat it. Like I said, I'm, this is. Oh, all right. Good. Okay. So that's um, that's gonna get leaked on the internet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now uh, music is your full time job. Yeah. Or, tell me if I'm wrong. Um, did it change something in your daily life in Portland, for example? Um, you mean now that we don't have changed? regular jobs? Yeah, and. Uh, with success and... I watch less TV now, mm -hmm. which is a terrible uh, thing. I love our TV. That's one of the big things. Yeah, uh, I'm missing out my stories. But, um, I don't kind of... I mean, no? Yes? I mean, I don't have to go to a job anymore, which is pretty nice. But, but now we have to spend a lot more time focused on this. So, you know, every, as soon as you get home from one tour, you're getting ready for the next tour. And, mm -hmm. and then we're trying to write music for our next album and stuff, so it's just, I mean, we still have a job, it's just, we don't have to go to, uh, you know, we go to the practice space, or I go to my computer at home instead of going to an office that is in the middle of nowhere, so, uh, and I, but I do get to spend a lot more time with my wife and son, which is nice. Uh, you talked about TV shows, 
can you tell me what are your favorite TV shows at the moment? Even if you can see it, you can watch TV right now. Yeah. That, uh, because I know uh, a few fans asked for this question. Oh, really? They like, they want to know what we watch on TV? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watch so much TV. Uh, I don't know. Favorites? Come on. I've, um, I've, I've been really enjoying Breaking Bad. Yeah. Um, it's a really good show. Uh, and the, that's the thing, it's killing me. We went on tour in April and it started in the or whatever, the last season, and it was on demand, but it's, they dropped off the first three episodes. I was like, well, I'm not going to watch it until I can see the first episode. Well, it, it never did come back. Finally did, and we went on tour again, so. I think season four is coming out, and I still haven't watched, watched season three. It's killing me. I'm on them. Uh, Don't I tell me what happened. I just caught up finally on uh, the second season of Louis, which is the Louis C.K. Mm. Uh, what do you call it? Sitcom-ish thing? Sitcom, yeah. Sitcom. Yeah. And, uh, but I don't know. Um, I kind of, what I really miss is watching, being able to watch the Colbert Report because we don't have cable anymore, so we have to watch everything on the streaming. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't work very well, so I like the Colbert Report and, uh, Louis and uh, I haven't really. This is the thing: is I don't even have time to watch TV anymore, so I don't even know what I like. It's mm -hmm. the worst. You, you don't even know what happens. On TV. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, I'm just completely cut off. Um, oh, Boardwalk Empire. HBO. Boardwalk Empire. That's yeah. a good one. I watched both of those seasons. Yeah. And I just watch them on the computer on tour now. I don't know if you're watching the Game of Thrones. I, oh. I started it, and then I'll maybe try to start it again when I get home. Could inspire you for the next video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, epic things, all that stuff. I know you've done that. It's pretty, pretty strong with dark, so yeah. why not? Um, so you've been, you've been, you were on stage at the Orion Music Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, Metallica. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. But um, were there uh, bands you discovered there uh, you never heard before, but you really liked? Uh, seen them on stage. New new bands. I can answer that. No. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean most of the band, we were only there for one day and I knew okay. most of the bands that were playing I already knew. Yeah. All the bands I saw and was already familiar with them and the yeah. fans of. So I've got yeah. to see bands I liked but I didn't see any new ones. Because it, Metallica actually, uh, they actually called us for advice on what bands to get to play the festival. So. First they picked it, the only reason they picked us was so that you could get our, our advice on which bands to choose and that made it, you know, so we already knew most of the bands since it was our our decision who got to play. No, I, I'm of course kidding, they didn't do that. <laughs> we were familiar with all the bands that, that were playing that we knew. Right. And, uh, that last, I mean, I could, like, I think one band I wanted to see was Snow Patrol because I don't, I know nothing about them except for that name is weird, and I know that they're very popular, and I don't know um, why, what genre they are or anything, so I was like, oh, I'll see that band, and yet I didn't, so. Did so they play the same days we did? Oh, no. no. I was really, really focused on seeing them. Uh, last question. Uh, if you could advise uh, your fans or uh, anyone else uh, about the uh, next big thing, the next artist to listen to, Okay, yeah, yeah, keep going. Apart from you. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, or some people you know, uh, anything? Oh, sure. I've got one. Uh, they're called Lord Dying, mm -hmm. and they're from Portland, and they're a metal band, and they're great. And then I have another one, and they're called Hungry Ghost, and they're kind of more of a rock, kind of bluesy rock band, and they're from, well, with some, like, post-punk stuff in there. And they're from Portland. Those are good. Those are two for me. And I like... This one Thai Siegel record called Melted. That's pretty good, but everybody knows it. Okay. Sound bad. I don't know, bro. Do you want to use Lord Dying? Oh, yeah, Lord Dying. Should, should we start over? Lord really Dying good. Thoughts? Okay. Um, there must be somebody that I really like. Or maybe not that new, but uh, something you like to listen to at the moment. And, uh... mm, I like um, Torch. I mean, they're not that. They're not. Super well known, but people know about them. But I, I really enjoy their vocal stylings. And uh, there's a band that we played with in uh, Cleveland. I have no idea if they're actually good or not, but um, I liked them when we played with them. They were called uh, uh, Mega Church. They were pretty cool, but I haven't heard any records. So. 
Oh, um, Sand Rider from, uh, oh, from yeah. Seattle. That's a good one. He and I were both um, fairly mesmerized by their live show, and we'd never heard uh, you know one thing. Of, I don't know if you'd heard anything. No. I'd heard nothing. No. Yeah. And we know the guys, two of, two of the three guys, but never heard this band. And we generally just have playing so many shows that you get pretty numb to live music. You're just I can't really. I have a hard time sitting still for for a live band for more than maybe a song or two. And I watched the majority of their set, and I knew nothing about them except that I was like, fuck, these guys are good, and they're pretty brand new, so. Okay. They're off on Good to Die Records, and yeah. they have an album out, which sounds awesome. I took the record home and listened to it the next day, which I also never do. So, there you go. That's the plan. Thanks for advising uh, these guys to, to the crowds. Yeah. So, uh, do you have something else to say to add? Anything? Something stupid if you want. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. Okay. I'm not being shy, I'm just being, uh, no thoughts. No thoughts in there right now. Okay. Uh, for the, for stay the on drugs. Okay. Uh, get rad, stay there. Alright. Or don't do drugs, I don't care. <laughs> do whatever you want. Stay on milk. Yeah. Yeah. Better. Go to drugs. Stay off milk. <laughs> do your school. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Nice. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>